Once, diesel fuel was touted across parts of the world as a readily available solution to increase fuel economy. Diesel engines were praised as heavy-duty, hard-working, fuel-sipping engines that were great for some of the hardest jobs and heaviest machinery, hauling, clawing through the dirt, and driving long distances. Their reputation as efficient and long-lasting engines made them a popular choice across Europe, one of the world's largest car markets. They were supported by government incentives and embraced by major automakers. For a while, it looked like diesel engines could be one of the best available technologies for reaching ambitious fuel economy targets. Then, the case for diesel seemed to crash. Cities where diesels were common struggled with extremely high levels of air pollution. Global health authorities determined diesel fuel to be carcinogenic. In 2015, German automaker Volkswagen, one of the world's largest car companies, shook the industry when executives admitted the company had cheated on diesel emissions tests. Executives were fired and jailed. Volkswagen was on the hook for billions in fines and payouts, and some wondered whether the scandal spelled the beginning of the end for diesel engines themselves. At the same time, hybrid and electric vehicles increasingly became for many the best new hope for providing low emission or even emission-free transportation and equipment. But diesel advocates say diesel is not done yet. It is still widely used in heavy machinery and commercial applications. Companies are developing new technology such as pollution filtering systems and renewable biofuels that could keep diesel relevant and widely used for years to come, even as solutions for reducing toxic emissions. Within the truck market, the diesel is still a, it's a huge player. Um, as far as you know, the amount of vehicles that we produce with diesel, certainly in the heavy duty, it, it, there's a constant desire for, for more capability. 